Good morning and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Wake Up Tahoe. On today's show, my guest host from KTHO Radio right here in South Lake Tahoe and Getaway Reno Tahoe is Josh Ashby. And we are cooking today guacamole. Just all for Cinco de Mayo coming up this weekend. Plus, if you are coming into the Lake Tahoe area this weekend, we're going to give you all the events going on. So you don't have an excuse not to know what to do on today's show of Wake Up Tahoe. Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up Tahoe. It's Wednesday, May Day here on the show and in Lake Tahoe. Looking for a high today of 61 degrees. Love it. The Ooh. weather has been fantastic. A little man. bit of a drop, though, it, from yesterday. But we're going to jump right back up for the weekend. We are. It looks like you've been yeah. catching some sun. I have been catching way too much sun. <laughs> My co-host today, Josh Ashby from KTHO Radio 96.1, where I do the morning show, and Getaway Reno Tahoe, which I yep. do a lot of their video work. So you're a busy guy. I, I am a busy guy. I'm kind of the ad guy for Tahoe these days. Yeah, Tahoe's ad guy. Just call Josh. He's got you covered. Definitely. Also, great to have him on the show today. We are going to be cooking today. I'm looking forward to it. I've been telling him. guacamole. Luke, we are, yeah, yeah. They took the fire away. We used to cook with flames and stuff. Well, due to a little circumstance with Douglas County Fire Department in Mont Blue, <laughs> pulled the plug. Now we're cooking guacamole. But, hey, guacamole, yeah. all in the name of Cinco de Mayo. Hey, it's going to be good. You speak Spanish? It's a little sketch. It's a little <laughs> Spanglish, but, but I do my best. Well, Josh Ashby is not only an ad guy here in Tahoe. You've been here for how long, Josh? I have been here for almost two years now. Two years? Yeah. yeah. Going on. Mr. Cinco de Mayo Tahoe in two years. Exactly. Wow, that's fantastic. And we're going to talk about Josh's anniversary. We're going to talk about kayaking. We're going to talk about his nice glow he's got going on here coming up. It's a up. good base. It's a good, it's base. a good base. That's what it is. It's like a base <laughs> tan. We've been talking about that. Exactly. It's absolutely true. Plus, all the events coming up this weekend for Cinco de Mayo. They used to have a taco eating competition here at Mont Blue, but um, due to some regurgitation effects and whatnot that kind of got yeah, canceled. Yeah, I heard year. about that. I think <laughs> Megan Burke killed it though, right? Seven and a half. She's not afraid to Incredible. tell you. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. But also we got Sammy Hagar coming to town. We got the Mayweather fight. We got a lot to discuss. But Josh, what the heck you been up to? Kayaking, I hear. I have been doing a little kayaking. Sunday was my anniversary. So we went to uh, six years. I know. I, oh, time to trade her in for a newer model. <laughs> <laughs> No, just we, kidding. At I'm least kidding another man. six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least. At least. No, so we went kayaking. I, I love kayaking. Uh -huh. She's going to watch this, so I'm going to tell her that I love kayaking. Loves kayaking. It, it is one of my favorite pastimes now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's thrilled to hear this. Oh, And you absolutely. sound so sincere well, about it. I, I mean, obviously. I, I'm a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> and so on an anniversary, what is the perfect day other than kayaking? Does it get much better than that? It, it doesn't. For me, I would like to go to a nice dinner. Uh -huh. She's not about it. Where'd you she take her? She doesn't want to spend the money. Okay. We went to... 7-Eleven? go? It, it was pretty much 7-Eleven. <laughs> we, uh, we went and had a cheap... Actually, we went to Zephyr Cove. Oh, the they're restaurant not cheap. Down there. That no, place it, good. It was delicious. It was great. So. Zephyr Cove Resort right off there, a state line area. Yeah. What'd you have? First time I had a hamburger. Oh, nice. It What'd she delicious. have? What did she have? Did I want to say she had fish. She had fish? She doesn't do meat. Okay. She'll, fish okay. is about all she'll do. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Marianne Ashby. Now, she's one of those girls that like always picks off your plate, like... I'll have the side salad and like jam and across. And I order fries. everything meat. I don't okay. get any sides just so that she can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible share. <laughs> Anyone will tell you. But, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, man. Last <laughs> night we went to Chevy's yes. right here in South Lake Tahoe, which happens to be one of your wife's favorite hot spots. <laughs> she loves it. She loves She loves the, the, the Mexicali Mexican food. Is this where she these hats it. came from? This is exactly where the hats came from. Well, we were at Chevy's last night, and we're going to show some footage of the fashion show. You don't awesome. think of Chevy's and a fashion show going together, but there was bikinis walking all throughout the restaurant, as you can see here. And then they had cowboys and Indians, and Side Street <laughs> Boutique was great. They had evening That's, gowns. Great little uh, fashion show. About 50, 60 people there nice. kind of walking around and coming out. And 
highlighting all the proceeds went to Silver State Schools. So very kind of cool. fun in their sports very program. Very cool event. Volleyball, stuff like that. So nice. not a better way to uh, raise money than with bikinis. <laughs> Always. Right? We're going to have our own bikini show here. Raise money for Wake Up Tahoe. <laughs> right now. Tops are option. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to have a great show in store for you. Don't go away. Right now, we're going to go out to a sunscreen PSA by our own Jack Durs. You can follow him at, at Fabulous Tahoe because I'll tell you, you don't want to be red like Josh. No. Like, avoid skin cancer. Take a look. Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and this is a quick public service announcement to remind you all to wear sunscreen while you're up here at Tahoe. It's beautiful weather this time of year, beautiful time to be out at the beach, but you guys need to realize that if you're from a lower elevation than here, the sunscreen you got probably won't cut it. The FDA recommends a broad spectrum sunscreen with both UVA and UVB protection. If you're going to be on the water, it's really a good idea to have waterproof sunscreen and realize that you may be getting sunburnt from below from the reflections off the water, not just from above from the sun. If you're going to Tahoe, you need to get yourself the most badass sunscreen you can afford. Factor 50 plus at least, the FDA says factors over 50 don't do anything, but you want the goopy white stuff and you want to use lots and lots of it because you want to make sure that your skin is evenly covered anywhere that's exposed because at this altitude you are literally a mile closer to the sun than you usually are and your ordinary sunscreen just isn't going to cut it. I can recommend Noad. Noad 50 Plus works really well. I can also recommend Copper Tone Sun Guard. Copper Tone Sun Guard is inexpensive and it works really well. And don't be shy about the sunscreen, people. This is definitely not the climate where you want to be leaving yourself unprotected. Also, please remember that waterproof sunscreen is very often not as waterproof and sweatproof as it's advertised to be. You guys, reapply your sunscreen if you're in any doubt that it doesn't work well because you will sunburn almost twice as fast in Lake Tahoe as you would anywhere else. Also realize that sunscreens and touchscreens don't mix, so it's a good idea if you're going to be running camera equipment or your touch phone to bring yourself some wet wipes so that you can clean off your hands before you push the stop button and get your camera all greasy. This has been a public service announcement from Fabulous Lake Tahoe. Thank you. Stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe for more coverage all summer long. Thank you. Keep Tahoe blue. Welcome back to Wake Up Tahoe, filmed from the 12th floor of the beautiful Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa overlooking Edgewood. Look at that. There, Josh. I cannot wait for opening day. Isn't it gorgeous? It is absolutely beautiful. Home of Celebrity Golf coming up here soon. Yeah. I'm sure you've been there a time or three. Definitely. <laughs> I, I was trying to get Todd's media pass last year. The, the rule was that I had to tackle Jerome Bettis. Oh, that was the only way I could get the. Did you give a shot? No. <laughs> you know what's funny about Jerome Bettis is him and I actually were uh, in the urinals, and he was right next to me, <laughs> and I sit there doing my business. Which, and he comes pulling in. He's like, "Hey, what's up, man?" I'm like, "It's Jerome Bettis over there. Not a tall guy. No, he he is just short and stocky. Yeah, but he, he yeah. barely fit in the little post there. <laughs> like he's like." <laughs> and it was like, Wonk. <laughs> but we'll leave that all thing aside. But. Um, Yes, Celebrity Golf, fantastic yeah, event. I am excited. Speaking of golf, though, Locals Day coming up May 8th at Lake Tahoe yeah. Golf Course. It's going to be a good day. I will be out there with the, the getaway crew out there playing a little golf. I'm not good, but I heard it's a slow day of golf. Very so slow. Make Highly, it even easier for High me. drinking capacity. Yes. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. that's all I care about. <laughs> Smoke a cigar, drink some beers. Hopefully you get off hole two this year and yes. not just get stuck I, I'm hoping. You could have caught Josh last year just at hole two. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Anyway, Lake Tahoe Golf Course offering locals a $15 rounds to kick off the season. That's May 8th. You can start registering on Friday, which we are going to do here on the show. Now, right. Edgewood at Tahoe, located right behind us, is May 7th, correct? Yes, that's right. correct. And the last day to register is Friday. Friday. So the both days, last day to register for Edgewood is on Friday. $60 rounds, but that's still a bargain. I don't oh, know it, what it costs out there. Oh, it's, it's huge for Edgewood. It, it, it's well over $100. $100? I know. Holy cow. I know. 
Golf's underway, though. Get your clubs or just take a few out and fill it up with yeah. beer like I do. But, um, <laughs> hey, coming up tonight at 6 p.m., Art in the Library, pictures created by students of St. Teresa's School right here in South Lake Tahoe, will be on display by the children's room at the public library until May 22nd. So stop by and support those local artists. Very cool. Kids these yeah. days. Hey, I, I won an award when I was a kid. You did? Elementary school. I made a Van Gogh painting. I won an award for it from the district. Well, we're going to have so to go see check it out. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> kidding. Hey, um, speaking of kids, uh, your wife just texted in saying, uh, Josh, uh, ask Josh when he will be having kids. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. If I What's had a dollar up? for every time I'm asked that question, yeah. Supposedly I would be rich. Are... And then I could afford to have a kid. <laughs> yeah? Is that the problem? No, it, it'll, it'll come. It'll come. All right. Well, I, Marianne Ashby just wanted me to put you on the Appreciate spot there. Appreciate it, Marianne. You're, Appreciate he's ready. It. He's ready. <laughs> so stop by to see that. Also, Friday start at Kale Park right here in South Lake Tahoe. It is the farmer's markets. Every Friday night, stop by and get your fresh ingredients for Cinco de Mayo. I'm sure they'll have jalapenos, peppers. Cilantro, habaneros, habaneros, guacamole. Well, we're going to make guacamole on the show today. We might take it to the farmer's market and sell it. So they it. might have avocados oh, to that's make right. the guacamole. Well, <laughs> Smart guy here over here. Hey, Kentucky Derby this weekend, the hottest place to be here at Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa or Straw Hat Pizza. Yeah, I will be over at Straw Hat Pizza. It's going to be an awesome event. Paul Middlebrook and I drinking, hanging out, calling in radio. It's going to Paul Middlebrook, in case you didn't know, used to be a jockey in the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> He's got the height down. That's, that's for dang sure. <laughs> so, Straw House Pizza located in Harvey's Res Casino Resort Correct. right there on the right. They yeah. have some great food. Overland oh, Meat Company. Incredible food. I ate there for the first time actually the other day. Uh -huh. Had a burger. Absolutely delicious meat from Overland. <laughs> Incredible. Kentucky Derby, bet on your horses. The sports books will be open. Have you played the horse game here at Mont Blue? I absolutely hate that game <laughs> okay tell the viewers because you will not find this game anywhere else it's a betting game to, it is works. it is what you, do they call you, it first you put of all? quarters in it i don't even the know horse the horse game of it. in the yeah. sports book and it's usually marianne sits there she absolutely <laughs> loves the game so that's i drop her off there and then i go hang out somewhere else in the casino and then you come she, back yeah come back and she wins i lose money constantly gambling no luck whatsoever. It's like babysitting for adults. It is. I don't think it I've ever is. seen that game anywhere else than here no, in Mont Blanc. I haven't either. And people love it. How much people money has she ever won off it. of it? She, it's quarters. Um, I want to say that she walked away with 10 bucks one time in quarters. That's pretty good. Well, <laughs> Mont Blue might go broke at that range. <laughs> mayweather Guerrero fight going on this weekend. Mayweather freshly out of prison. Yeah. <laughs> What a better way to start your, uh, revamp your boxing career. Than... Exactly. If you're going to do it, you might as well get back on the horse or back in the ring. <laughs> so you can catch the fight live right here at Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa. They're going to be putting it all throughout all their TVs here throughout the entire casino. Yeah. You pretty much walk through the casino. There's TVs everywhere, so you can See catch all anywhere. the action here. And uh, if you ever want to get in the f ring with Mayweather, well, you can sign up for that too. Yeah, easily. I advertised. I said, hey, I'll, I'll fight you. And I'll... he was in prison, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, I had that one covered. Hey, we got cooking guacamole. I don't know if you really cook it, but we're going to be mixing it up here on the show. Coming up next here on Wake Up Tao. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Wake Up Tao or our Twitter. Tweet us. My name is Brendan Burnside. I'm the head guide for Tahoe Fly Fishing Outfitters. We're based out of South Lake Tahoe, California, and we guide a variety of waters throughout the Eastern Sierra. We're pretty lucky here in Lake Tahoe with all the fishing options that we have. Great fishing, amazing scenery, killer spot to spend a day. I've got the opportunity to travel all over the West and really throughout the world and do some fly fishing. And man, we've got some of the best fishing right here in our own backyard. I, I feel blessed and spoiled to uh, to be able to to have this so close to us in, in, in Lake Tahoe. The nice thing about our area is we've got a lot of options, so we very rarely have no fishing available. There's always something that's fishable between our lakes and our streams and our rivers. I've had the opportunity to guide in this area for 10 years now and been fishing up here since I was a kid for almost 20 years. 
It's really cool to meet people from all over the world in the U.S. to come here. This place ranks up there with some of the best trout destinations really in the U.S. You know, having fish Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, who get a little bit more hype than we get. It's kind of an unspoiled, untapped area. The Eastern Sierra is just a trout mecca for anybody who wants to come here and fly fish, spin fish, lake fish, you got a lot of options. Welcome back to Wake Up Tahoe. Tahoe South, doing it right and doing they it well. Always do. That should be their tagline. I agree. We're doing it right here in Tahoe South and we're doing it well. Hey, it's cooking time. Guacamole. Mm, you might have eaten it before. You might not know what's in it. We're going to tell you. It's our object today. <laughs> Josh Ashby is a guacamole virgin. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that leads us right into this segment. So Mazatlan Grill right here in South Lake Tahoe has donated all the items today for our cooking segment and they're offering 50% off margaritas, 50% off imported beers, that's all of them, and 50% off combo plates. <laughs> Harrison Road, Lake Tahoe Boulevard, you can't miss it. No. Right there, 530-269-8084, mazatlongrill.com. They have one of these in Susanville where I come from. Every time I go home, that's where my mom knows where to awesome. find me. And same owner. Yeah. That's incredible. It's crazy. When so I go home cool. to see my mom, that's where I'm at, Mazelon. She calls the girl and goes, hey, is my son there? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, are you going to come visit us? I'm like, nah, I'm good. You're, yeah. I'm having a chip. You know where I'd be. Yeah. yeah. Mazelon girl. Anyway, first things first. Always use the proper napkin. So we want to unwrap our napkin. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. There we go. All right, Josh. Ingredients. Three avocados. Do we have three? Or two in this or case. Or two. One diced tomato, three quarter cup of onion, diced. Diced means like that. Nice little mixture. Uh, and salt to taste. Don't forget cilantro, one small jalapeno, diced with the seeds removed, and a lime to taste. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna squish the avocado. Squish it in. Avocados are hard to come by. That's why you gotta get a good they avocado, are. a nice squishy yeah. one. This so one's definitely squishy. Is that squishy? Oh that's yeah, that's perfect. Sure. That makes the best guacamole. There it you does. go. Throw all that in there, Josh. And uh, while you're making this, um, I'm going to ask you some Cinco de Mayo questions. I'm looking forward to this part. Because <laughs> Josh comes from a Spaniard history. Can I, you tell? I, I do. Yeah. Black Irish, actually. Is that what it is? You wouldn't it's believe It's close it. to Spain. They're uh, like neighbors, is. aren't they? Okay. Is, there's a good story about Spain there. <laughs> okay. They're, they're like neighbors there. Um, so now you're going to throw in the tomato, the cilantro, the jalapeno, and just mix it all up. Uh, well, we're going to keep that one out of there. All right. That, that, you don't want to put the seed in there, Josh. <laughs> exactly. That could be a choking it, hazard. But it does keep it from browning. It, after you make it, you leave that in there, it keeps it from browning. Is this your first time this really making guacamole? This is not my guacamole? first rodeo. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Josh is making this. Um, Josh, I'm going to ask you some trivia. All right, let's Which do of it. these cultural holidays from around the world most resembled Cinco de Mayo in the theme and meanings? Chinese New York, Chinese New Year, well, Chinese New York, <laughs> Chinese New Year, St. Patrick's Day, Oktoberfest, Boxing Day, or Victoria Day? St. Patrick's Day. Wow. Ding. One for Josh. Keep mixing that. You gotta I'm mix it up it. well. I'm working it. We do have Mazelon Grill in the audience today. We Thank do. you guys for coming. Appreciate it. Um, how do people celebrate Cinco de Mayo? By showcasing Mexican heritage, taking part in political rallies and parades, reenact the famous Battle of Puebla. Now that would be fun. That would be fun. Or all of the above. Are we talking about here in America or Mexico? Um, here in America, we just drink Corona. There you go. That's right. <laughs> Ding! Josh gets two. And see what a mile, the official federal holiday of Mexico? I do not believe that. Yes, it is the country's most important holiday, or no, it's not an official holiday. I say no. Ding! Josh, yeah. where, where did you go I, to school? <laughs> I have worked in the hospitality industry for a long time. You are smart. Let me get to a tougher one. Oh, here's a true or false. On Cinco de Mayo, it is unethical and un-American and un-Mexican to drink less than 16 Coronas in one day. That is absolutely true. Ding! Josh, hey. congratulations. I killed it. You win this pencil. How's it looking? Oh, wow, this looks Doesn't good. Doesn't that look, look at amazing? That. Guacamole. Thank you to Mazalonga. Now, this is how they make theirs, especially little yeah. device. Now, did you lime to taste? Let's take a taste of this. I, I did. Okay, let's go. I've always wanted to be on a cooking show. And this is healthy. Uh, you it is. would make. You call you the yeah. Emerald Josh Abosby. I love it. <laughs> Josh Abosby. <laughs> I'm good. Mm. I make a good guacamole. You make a good guacamole. That's for sure. 
Thank you to Mother Long Grill. That's fabulous. Put the, web, put the recipe up on our Facebook page. You can find it there and our website. And moving right along, Live at Lakeview Concert Series here in South Lake Tahoe just was announced May 23rd. That's a Thursday night right at El Dorado Beach. You've been there. Very exciting. I love it. We used to live right down the street, so we'd ride our bikes down. They have the bike valet. Awesome event. So that'll be the 23rd. It goes for 10 consecutive weeks, and it will be kicked off this year by Island of Black and White, which you got to see live. They are incredible. Such a cool band. Super excited for that. Also, Clean Tahoe needs our help keeping Tahoe clean. They are going to be pulling the trash out of the willows behind IHOP. Nice. Kind of my backyard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Clean Tahoe, for cleaning it up. But if you need help with that, uh, give them a call, 530-544-4210, or just jump on Facebook and Google it. Clean Tahoe is where you go for that. A um, little May Day today, you know, May Day, 1st uh, yeah. of May. Here we are. In case you didn't know, dancers, what does that mean? dancers gather in circles, each <laughs> holding a colored ribbon, and they dance around poles, and you're also supposed to, like, go get flowers and put them on people's doorstep. Knock and run. Interesting. Yeah. I know places they do that all year long. Me too. <laughs> Never with flowers. I've yet to get a flower in that occasion. So I'm really excited for that. Also, coming up, we're going to go with Adra's update. Now, today nice. she's going to be talking about the clothing swap coming up. We had them on the show yesterday. Absolutely hysterical cool. group. That's happening today. So Adra's going to give us our update for that. But if, before then, we need more guacamole. I totally agree. This was fantastic. Wake Up Tahoe would like to thank Mazatlan Grill for all the delicious delights today. Catch their guacamole the way it's supposed to be made <laughs> at their location. <laughs> all right, we're going to talk Sammy Hagar, and Adrian's got the update of the clothing swap going on here in South Lake Tahoe coming up. Stay with us here, Wake Up Tahoe. Hey guys, it's Heather with Getaway Reno Tahoe. What's up gang, I'm Jesse. And today we're gonna check in at our cabin at one of the most beautiful places in the world, Zephyr Cove Resort. What better place to be with the beach behind you and the sun on your face? You can't go wrong, let's go check out our room. Let's do it. Most people come to Zephyr Cove Resort to enjoy the day, but you can actually stay here too. You can camp, bring your RV, or you can stay in style like we are. This cabin is what I call luxury camping. And there's everything I need to make this my home away from home. An entire kitchen and super comfortable beds. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the cable TV with HBO. But let's be honest, who's watching TV when there's a sick view of the lake? I am so excited, I can't wait to check everything out. Well, let's hit the beach to warm up before we jump in that cold yet refreshing Lake Tahoe water. Um, how about we hit the net? Top Gun style. Heck yeah, Goose. You got it, Maverick. After working up an appetite, we need to get some delicious grub. And what better place to eat than a bite with a view at Zephyr Cove Lodge. And we ordered the famous hamburger and fish tacos. Of course, we want to remember this trip, so let's walk over to the gift shop and get some souvenirs. After getting some swag to remember this amazing trip, let's go back and enjoy the water. We could cruise on the paddle wheeler. I really feel like riding a speedboat, cruising the lake, enjoying the scenery and relaxing. Sound good? No way! I want to get wild and go fast on the jet skis. Well, if that's the case, then I want to relax in the cabanas with a cocktail. Actually, that sounds really nice. What a great end to a perfect day. This place has outdone itself. I mean, have you checked out our backyard? Amazing. Cheers to Zephyr Cove Resort. Cheers. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Getaway. I was out doing it. Gosh, I wish I worked for Getaway. You could. I could, but. You gotta put in an application, but no. you know, you could. Megan does a very good job. And Megan I love it when job. she comes on our show here, so that's okay. And don't forget to follow our show. This is the mastermind behind all the madness here at Wake Up Tahoe. Does all of our social media. You're doing a great job with that. I don't do anything. Do whatever. I don't know what you're talking Adrian's about. Adrian's got your daily update for today. All clothing swap. We had them on the show yesterday. Not all clothing. All Tahoe clothing shop. Yes. So the uh, girls from the all drinking club here, or as we dubbed them in the YouTube of uh, the society, they came up with the idea for the all mm. Tahoe clothing swap. It's being held this evening at 630 at the American Legion Hall on Lake Tahoe Boulevard. Show up with a canned good or another dry non-perishable item such as they need noodles, a tuna helper, tuna cans, uh, lots of different um, things that they can keep a long shelf life for. Bring something, bring 
a whole bunch actually. Can I bring that, guacamole? Non-perishable, Drew. But they are actually, and that brings up a good point in just a moment. Um, just bring your non-perishable item, and that will get you entry into the clothing swap. You can go shopping there with all the girls. Um, they've been donating tons of clothes all week long through Tahoe, and it's going to be going towards the Christmas cheer with this. They are having a bring a potluck item, though, so you could actually come, Drew, with your guacamole and donate it tonight to the ladies to eat while they're swapping out their clothes. Again, that's at 630 at the American Legion Hall with the all um Tahoe Drinking Club. All girls Tahoe Drinking Club. Mm -hmm. yep. They're going to be wasted. <laughs> Nothing goes better with drinking clubs than guacamole and crab dip. Crab that's dip. What, that's what she wanted. She wanted crab dip. I we're think gonna, there's a crab dip We're going to bring it to her. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Rumor has it you're bringing a shopping cart. <laughs> you're pushing a Rayleigh shopping cart through the clothing swap. Yeah. All right. I can't wait to see that. Hey, uh, special shout outs today. YouTube shout outs. Our own fabulous Tahoe Jack Durst gave us our first shout out yesterday. <laughs> It must have been good because he has sets a really high bar for criteria. Uh, you look fabulous in that cougar coat, Drew. Jack. He's a liar. You're fabulous all the time. That's <laughs> that's why the name is Fabulous Tahoe. Um, new subscribers, TahoeSouth.com, which is a partner here in the show. So thankful to have them on board. And Gay T-H-O Radio and Getaway Reno Tahoe. We'd like to make a, make a special shout out to those guys because they're doing it. Yep, doing Everybody's it well. doing it. Doing it the only doing person who's well. not doing it is Josh Ashby. Yeah, he went back to work. He's hanging out with Middlebrook in the midday. Middlebrook. <laughs> and if uh, you haven't paid attention to our lovely intro... Paul Middlebrook is the voice of the, from the 12th floor of Mont Blue. It's very exciting. Paul, in case you didn't know, Adrian's stalking you. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Sammy Hagar comes to town for two days this weekend. Mm -hmm. Going to be playing in the South Shore Room, not outdoor. Yeah. So it will be the third and the fourth, I believe. Is that right, Jack? Yes, that's right. Third and the fourth. Catch Sammy Hagar two days, two shows. And his new rum. And his new rum. Sammy's Beach Bar Rum. It sounds delicious. I can't wait to go to the beach bar and try some. I like to pregame a little before concert, so mm -hmm. hopefully I make it to the concert. I, I don't, don't think you will. You usually don't make it that far. Good point. Aaron Agar <laughs> actually like had Drew, we have to go. And I'm like, one more. Quit touching one me, more. Drew. Just joking. She's <laughs> Adra, <laughs> Facebooker, <laughs> Tweeter. Tomorrow's show is going to be fantastic. We have Rachel Lamelli coming on. Oh. And we're going to be talking photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nude photos. And... It's possible she does like boudoir, and she does do that, but she is actually the number one children's portrait studio in Tahoe. She is the only one. And um, she does do boudoir as well. There will be some um, photos she'll be bringing with. And you can Should also, I wear a corset? You'll also be able to check out our Facebook page tomorrow and see some of her um, footage or film. What would you call it? Photographs. Photographs. There you of go. Me. Hey, <laughs> special announcements today. We have some specials going on. 986 Park Hotel right here in South Lake Tahoe. Rowena Pegg is usually there. Starts at 3 p.m. All pub coffee. Wine of Wednesday is going on. All women will receive half off glasses of wine and 20% off bottles. Ooh. Now, I know what most of the ladies here in Tahoe are going to choose. Get a bottle. Wine, bottle. One girl the gets the white, bottle. one girl gets the red. You just go back and forth, maybe a little bit of something to eat. I, I've seen you walk out with a bottle or two. Uh, Lake Tahoe Golf Course driving range is open. Get tuned up for Locals Day coming up next week. Small bucket of balls, just $7. Large bucket, $11. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have for you in the specials around Lake Tahoe. Thanks again to Josh Ashby for coming Thanks, on the show. Josh. Hopefully his wife will let him come on the show again. I think she will, as long as you don't talk about babies. <laughs> babies. Babies. Well, it came in via text, so we had to announce it. Tomorrow, <laughs> Rachel Lamelli will be on the show. Have a great Wednesday, May Day here in Lake Tahoe. We'll wake you up again tomorrow. Wake up Tahoe with Drew. See you then.